Scorch. Okay. <laughs> Good? Good. So the problem here is with a loose tuning pin. This is an old upright. There's a lot of these around and they're not in there. They're, they're good pianos in many cases. Um, they just need a little bit of extra work. So I'm gonna actually remove the tuning pin, glue it, put it back on, and pull it up to pitch, and it should hold the pitch. Because right now that's an octave, it sounds pretty good, but within the past hour that I've been here, it slipped. And it was sounding like that. La, 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 la. And that has a bad sound. I'm here to tune the piano, not leave it untuned, right? So if you want to zoom in here a little bit, I'm trying to come in close. I'm going to take the string off the tuning pin, which means lowering the tension. Pop this out. This is called the Beckett. dandy needle nose pliers and pull that off. I'm just gonna let it hang out there. And then go ahead and twist it out. And in the video I will like go full <laughs> fast forward to this. Because <laughs> being on the end I can't just go in a full circle. It's true. So you have to go. It is possible to hit pause and then resume the same video. Okay. If you'd like me to pause it, I will. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can pause it for a second. Okay, good. So this, I've got this unscrewed all the way and it just pulls out. So this is what the tuning pin looks like. You can see it's pretty long, it has threads along there so we'll when we get it glued up we'll nail it in and then it screws out but nails in hammers in okay for a second. so what i'm going to do is get some paper towel put super glue on it inside that hole so it'll work its way into the hole i'll hammer this back in pull it back up to pitch and it will be good to go okay so i've taken off a tiny piece of paper towel Made a little thing like that, sticking it into the hole. And what that does is it allows, yeah, check that out. There it is. It allows this glue to wick into the hole. Because this is, you know, gravity will pull the glue down and you want the glue to go that way. So... Hopefully this doesn't backfire on the video. Boom. I'm squirting it in there. I'm filling it up pretty good, actually. Good. Ooh, that's working out. I'm excited. Almost like it was meant to be. See, now we can just... I'm not going to push it in with my brute force, but I am going to grab my little nail up here. for a second I'm gonna... you can use a little ball peen hammer like this with a, a tuning pin setter and I've done it many times with that but I just happen to be carrying this very big sledgehammer in the back of my car and that's faster okay uh, so no one gets hurt. We'll set that down and now we've got to put the string back on The correct Direction let's see so the that's the right orientation so I'm just gonna Needle those pliers And instead of using my fingernail, I think I'll use a screwdriver to push that side Got to figure out the ergonomics here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Got 
got it. Make sure this goes back in the, the Beckett hole. Squeeze it in. Boom. It's nice that this is around the, the correct side there. Essential, actually. And we'll begin to pull it up to pitch and tighten the coil. This can work to pull that coil a little bit tighter. Loosening it, pulling the coil up, and there we go. Cool. Hey. It's not terrible. Other note. the tension on that tuning pin is nice and tight it's like new I mean it feels the tension feels great watch I have I can no longer I have to actually really pull on it so that's the uh, solution for single tuning pins that are slipping out of tune